I really think, uh, I don't know if this is just a sign of inexperience or I hope I'm not just being a, and like, <laughs> I don't want to take the time in, cur- in uh, post-production to edit out my cursing or to bleep myself out. So I'm not, I'm not going to curse here, but, uh, you know, maybe I'm just being an a-hole here, but I, I really think, uh, most people just don't have a clue how to do biz dev or to even think about partnerships, at least in the crypto space. I don't know. Maybe it's just cause it's, uh, it's a new space in general, but I get a lot of, I get a lot of emails almost, I'd say one every two to three days from someone that basically says something like, uh, Hey, I love what you're doing. We should partner. <laughs> let's, let's get on the phone to explore. Right. And, um, I never, it's hard to respond to those, right? Like uh, sometimes they're coming from folks I don't know, or maybe I've seen them post a few things on Twitter, but it's, it's kind of, it's, it's difficult to get those emails. Um, sometimes those emails are coming from someone who like probably should just be a customer, but instead of, instead of just saying like, Hey, we're going to sign up on your website or whatever they, they, they want to, I don't know, barter or something. I I don't know. Um, at, at least that's what I found. But at the very beginning when, when we were new and <laughs> just wanted to talk to anyone to, to get feedback and learn about how other people saw us in the space. Like I, I would get on some of these calls and I'd be like, okay, what, uh, how do you want to partner? They say like, Oh, I'm open to anything. <laughs> really? You're open to anything. So I have to come up with the partnership idea. So you want to partner with me and now like, I need to, I need to pitch you on the, on, on what a partnership might look like. So now I just say to folks like, okay, cool. I'm open to it. Send me a one page proposal with as many concretes as possible outlining what you would get, what we would get concretely, what the exchange of value would be. You know, is it, is it money? Is it traffic? Is it visibility? If it is traffic or something like that, what would the form of that take? Um, you know, uh, and almost nobody writes back with a one page proposal, even a one paragraph concrete proposal. Like it's, it's, it's very, it's very awkward. Um, I, I don't get this whole like, Hey, we should do something. Let's hop on the phone. Like who has that much phone time <laughs> in who, who, who has that much, um, bandwidth for connections in, in real time? Like I, I, uh, Probably people who aren't, <laughs> who don't have customers. I don't know. I used to have this theory that the the biz dev career or industry, like basically the main role of folks in biz dev was to tie up time with other people who are in biz dev. Like, hey, you know, biz dev person A at company A is going to talk to biz dev person B at company B. And they're just going to eat up a bunch of each other's time <laughs> so they can justify their roles. <laughs> I know that's not true, at least among like real professionals, but that was, uh, you know, that was, that was something that crossed my, <laughs> my mind. But, uh, you know, I, I think most people are, are doing it wrong and, and I'm, I'm guilty of this myself. I let it slip every once in a while. I it, usually like, I'll never start with that, right? So usually when I'm on the phone with someone and I really like what they're doing and I'm excited about the company, sometimes I'll 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 just sort of randomly blurt out like, ah, I love what you're doing. We should find some way to work together. And uh, then I'll catch myself and say, wait, hold on, never mind. Uh, you know, I'll I'll come back if there's ever something concrete that comes to mind. But partnerships are very expensive. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know that most people, when they sort of propose a partnership, actually have a real idea of, of how time consuming it is, right? Because when you're exchanging money, you know, something fungible or Bitcoin or, you know, equity or something, when you're trading these things, you know, it's, it's very clear how value is exchanged. But, but when there's a partnership, it's like, all right, um, what are the specifics? How, you know, 
how long is it going to last? You know, is there confidentiality? Is there exclusivity? Usually you need to get, you know, you have to have some kind of contract involved, right? So you need to pay, if you're going to do it right, you have to pay a, a pretty good commercial contracts attorney. And uh, that takes time. And uh, it, it, there's just so many things to work through. You know, it usually takes hours of meetings, you know, tens of hours of meetings in some cases. And then once it's done, you have to execute it, which means you need to get other people on your team involved and they have to be in alignment. And uh, just there's so much involved in a, in a really solid partnership, I think you know, even fortune 500 companies can count on two hands, the number of really important partners that exist for them. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's just, it's just something that most people can consider. Uh, I sent out a tweet about this the other day and, uh, it got a lot of likes. Thank you for everyone who liked it. Um, and someone responded, from the tweet or to the tweet who I used to work with Kevin Raheja, who runs partnerships or I don't know what his official title. I think it's like maybe director of partnerships at HubSpot. And he responded with a really clear directive, which was, you know, one, know the partner's business to have a plan three, be short and clear, um, four, exchange value and five don't waste time. And I think that's really, really solid advice. Okay, take care, bye. Hey, thanks for listening. If you liked this content, please help me out by leaving a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. It provides me with encouragement and it helps other people find the program. Also, if you have a question that you'd like me to answer on the podcast, go to asknomics.com, leave me a question, and I'll do my best to answer it in the next few days. Thanks for listening and see you tomorrow.